Hi, I'm Dr. Hanan Polanski from the Center for the Biology of Chronic Disease. Recently, Idan Yetzkovic and I completed a clinical study of the natural antiviral treatment genidenvir. The study followed FDA guidelines. This is important. This study was published in the medical journal Pharmacology and Pharmacy in a special edition. The name of the edition is Advances in Antiviral Drug. The study included 60 participants. All participants were suffering from an infection with one or more of the following five viruses. The first one is human papillomavirus, mostly known by HPV. The other one is herpes simplex virus, also known as HSV. Epstein-Barr virus is the third, or EBV, and the human cytomegalovirus, or CMV. The fifth is hepatitis C virus. Now, the youngest participant was 20 years old. The oldest was 66 years old. That's a big range, 46 years. These participants took genidinvir for various times. Some took it for as short as two weeks. The others took it as long as a whole year. Now, we asked them more than 50 questions. First question, of course, was about side effects. As it turns out, there were no reports of side effects. Even those participants who took Genin and Veer for a year had no side effects. Conclusion, Genin and Veer is safe. First conclusion. Then we asked them questions about how effective is Genin and Veer. So we asked them questions such as, how severe were your symptoms before taking Genin and Veer? Then we asked them, how severe were your symptoms after taking Genin and Veer? You see the difference before, after. We also asked them a question such as, how long did your symptoms last before taking Genin and Veer? And then, of course, we asked them, you can guess, how long did your symptoms last after taking Genin and Veer? Before, after. Finally, we asked them questions such as, how many times a month, a year, a week, did the symptoms appear before taking Genin and Veer? Again, the before question. And how many times a month or a week, same question, did the symptoms appear after taking Genin and Veer? Again, see, before, after. You can easily see that the first type of question is asking about how bad were the symptoms. The second type of question is asking of how long did the symptoms last? And the third is asking about how often did the symptoms appear? In medical studies, these questions are called severity questions, duration questions, and frequency questions. Now, we got the result. We sat down, we did a statistical analysis of the answers to all the 50 plus questions. Now, conclusion, and I'm quoting from the study. Gene Edenvir is safe and effective treatment against the five viruses, the HPV, the herpes virus, EBV, CMV virus, and the hepatitis C virus. Now, specifically, the statistical analysis showed that Gini Devere, this natural treatment, decreased the severity, duration, and frequency of the symptoms caused by these viruses. A natural product, a natural treatment that reduces the symptoms caused by these viruses. Now, based on the results in the clinical study, we concluded that, and listen carefully, healthcare practitioners should recommend gene enenvir as a safe and effective antiviral treatment to individuals infected with these viruses. Now, we're happy to see that the medical community is responding to our study. It came to our attention that many doctors started prescribing gene enenvir to their patients. And here are some of these prescriptions. You can see on the screen typical prescriptions. This is a great sign. We hope that these doctors will start a new trend. Remember, Gene Eden Veer is a natural treatment, not a drug. So we hope that more natural treatments will be tested in clinical studies. It's true, it's really true that the law does not require 
to actually test natural products. The FDA is not part of the picture with natural products. But as a result, most sellers of natural treatments do not test their products. They do not test their products. We believe that this is wrong. We believe that clinical studies are very important for both the doctor and the patient. We believe that only clinical studies can provide reliable data for doctors and patients. And we are not alone in saying that. Both the officials at the FDA, scientists in universities, and doctors in their clinics say that they only trust clinical studies. They only trust clinical studies. We urge you, join us and only trust clinical studies. Don't trust anything else. After all, it's your health. Don't gamble your health away on some unproven treatments. Thank you.